The great American writer Mark Twain once visited the land of Israel many, many decades ago. And as he saw the River Jordan, he was struck between the smallness of the river and the smallness of Israel and the great spiritual significance that the land of Israel carries for so many people and for so many religions. And so Mark Twain famously said, Israel has more history than geography. Israel has more spiritual depth than geographical size. Thinking about that beautiful uh, rendition of Mark Twain after he saw the Jordan River, I was thinking about the fact that the Jordan River flows into the two seas which exist in the land of Israel. The Sea of Galilee, known in Hebrew as the Kinneret, and the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea, as its name intimates, carries no life in it. Whereas the Sea of Galilee, the Kinneret, is replete and full of life. Why is that? Well, the Sea of Galilee receives water from the Jordan River and also gives water to other springs, to other sources. Whereas the Dead Sea only receives water from the River Jordan, but doesn't import water to other sources. This is a great lesson about what it means to live and how we find true joy in life. Abraham was exceedingly wealthy, tells us the Torah. And Abraham had a PhD in hospitality. He and his wife, Sarah, were the ultimate givers. Joseph was the first Alan Greenspan in Jewish history. He virtually ran the ancient Near Eastern economy by being second only to the Pharaoh, but he was also a great giver. Moses gave up the wealth, which he was the beneficiary of growing up in the Pharaoh's palace because he saw their only taking, only usurping, but not giving back. That was the way of the Pharaoh. And finally, my last example to you is Rabbi Yehuda Nasi, Rabbi Judah the Prince, who is the editor of the Mishnah. He gave us the oral law as we have it today in Judaism. He was one of the wealthiest persons in the world, but what he gave is above and beyond what he possessed. Today we have Bill and Melinda Gates, for example. Their contribution to humanity is immense and incalculable. To live is to give. Whatever Hashem has blessed you with, if you want to truly enjoy it, sp spend and share your wealth with others and emulate Abraham who heeded Hashem's voice when Hashem commanded, commanded him, Abraham and Sarah and all future monotheists, Veheyebracha, and you shall be a blessing to the world. Be a blessing you will find joy, you will find internal satiation, and you will live in poetry, song, and jubilation. Have a healthy and blessed day.